Hey guys, Grady here. Just taking a walk with Robert. I know it's a little later in the day that I'm taking my walk, but oh well. It is what it is, you know? Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, what else? Let's see. It's um, Monday, January let's see, 21st, yes, January 21st, um, and let's see, it's been a peaceful day thus far, but I've got an important issue to talk about, guys. We are in a very, very big crisis right now. For the love of Mike, our government is shut down. It is. Not 100%. It is a partial government shutdown, but like, you know, people say our economy is the highest it's been in 40 years. Really? <laughs> Where are you getting your information from? Because I can tell you right now, that is not true. That is completely inaccurate. Completely. If that's what you think, then you really need to learn more about economics because our economy right now with this government shutdown really is not doing well. And if it continues, there will be millions and millions upon millions of dollars that are supposed to be used towards taxes not getting in there because the government will still be shut down. I'm not saying that that is going to happen. I'm saying if it happens, then that is what's going to happen because the economy relies on taxpayers' money to survive. And the revenue that the country makes off of doing, you know, like trade deals or whatever, you know? Things like that. So, you know, we're not doing that well right now. It doesn't mean our economy is the worst. No, definitely not. No. Even I won't say that, but I won't put it at the best either. I'd say at this point, since there are almost one million workers who are not getting paid, I'd say... China has a better economy than us right now. Either way, China has always had, for the past several years, a fairly large economy. Close, close to ours. I'm not saying this is 100% accurate, but I mean like really. Think of it logistically for a second. Which country generates more daily revenue, us or them? Well, certainly not us. Why is this? Simple. Who provides more goods and services to literally every country in the world than anyone else? China does. Looking at it from that standpoint, you could easily argue that their economy is extremely high most likely most likely higher than ours at least right now anyways with our government shut down i don't remember when the last econo economical crisis happened in china i would have definitely remembered hearing about that and I just remember hearing anything about that in the past, like what? 20 years? I'm not saying it didn't, but I just don't remember it. But think about it like that. Millions and millions upon millions of dollars earned from goods and services daily to the Chinese economy and the Chinese government thousands of shipments to all the different ports throughout the world and all 
different countries, the thousands of ports throughout the world. It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. It is. It's crazy. Their economy is pretty high. I'd say right now, definitely, China has a higher economy than we do. In terms of right now, and if things keep going the way they're going for us, it'll stay that way for China, and we won't be able to catch up again. That's, that's the way that it's going to be. We're not going to be able to catch up to them. Once they're ahead of us, they'll be ahead of us forever. China's already ahead of us, and much of the rest of the world in a lot of ways. So is Japan. I wouldn't put Japan's economy as high as ours or China's, but I'd put Japan in the top five and India as well. well I'd still, I'd put us in the top five. I wouldn't put us in the number one spot as of right now with what's going on, but really? Like, really? Yeah, GDP, okay. What GDP is happening when when we're in a government shutdown? I mean, really, think about that logically for a second. I'll tell you what GDP is happening. None. Zero. It's impossible for us to do it as well as we have in the past with our government being partially shut down, not to mention the longest government shut down in this country's history. Come on. Why'd you guys vote for Trump? He did this. You know he did. And you're like, oh, well, we don't really care. Why? You, you don't care that you're not earning your fucking money? Re really? I'm not one to care that much about money, but I mean, come on. Eventually, this is going to affect everybody. Even the people who don't work for the government, eventually it is going to affect them because every job in some way is a government job to an extent. Even, even if you start your own business, your money's going somewhere. It's going to, um, it's going to, towards the government. It is, that's just the way it works out. Come on, honey. Um, it's just the way it works out. You know, and it's, it's sad that we're going through this. But at the same time, it's like, you know, people are blaming the Democrat, really? Let me ask you this, Republicans. Do you think that anything is ever your fault? Because if you don't, you're very arrogant and ignorant and stupid. You are. You're stupid. I don't care if that hurts your feelings. Go home and cry to mommy. Wah! They said that we're ignorant and stupid. Yeah, you are. If you really think that way, then yes, you are extremely you can't you can't be that way guys you can't blame everything on just one person I'm not even blaming the entire shutdown on Trump I don't I don't think all of it I know for a fact that not all of it has to do with Trump a lot of things have to do with it you know a lot of things nuts. Come on, Julie. Um, it's just crazy. Hey, what are you doing? Man. We're in for some cold weather. Howdy. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, but guys, man, it's like, you know, I can't blame the whole shutdown thing. I can't blame all of that on Trump. Because not all of it is his fault. It's not. Not every single bit of it. The majority of it, yes, most definitely is. But every bit of it? No. 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 Mm -mm. You people who are one-sided are all a bunch of idiots. I don't care what side you're on. You're stupid and you're idiots. You all are.
This is nuts, guys. It's nuts what's going on. Heel. I have friends who aren't getting paid, okay? That's, that's hard. You know, and you guys who are in Trump's base, who are working for the government, I don't know why you're still supporting Trump. He's the main cause of as to why the government is shut down and is suffering right now. He's the main cause of that. Not the one, not the full cause. No. You can't blame it all on him. I didn't vote for him. I'm glad I didn't, but still, you can't blame every single problem in this country today on Donald Trump. He's not doing anything to make him better, but they still, they weren't all caused by him. It's nuts. It's Legitimately, it's not. It's a beautiful day, guys. Um, it's just, it's crazy. It is. Uh, you really think everything is his fault? Really? It's the same bullshit. Okay, it's like when Bush was in there, people blamed everything on Bush. Really? Not everything bad that happened during Bush's presidency was his fault. Not everything bad that happened during Obama's presidency was his fault either. The fall of the economy, yeah, that was Bush's fault. He didn't really do much to get us out of that, but that's why Obama stepped in. He came in, he turned that around. Now Trump is, re is re-reversing it again. He's definitely going to bring it back to what Bush did. But again, that's not 100% his fault. You know, it's not only Republicans that, you know, support Trump. Trump's not a Republican to begin with. I mean, for goodness sakes, he praised Hillary Clinton. That was on television. He praised Hillary Clinton. And he admitted that before he ran for president, he voted for... He voted Democrat. He was a Democrat, and he's always voted Democrat. So I'm just saying, you people that are saying the Democrats are causing problems, yeah, you Democrats, you are causing the problems because you're supporting a Democrat who's not even really a Republican. That's who you're supporting, okay? I'm not a Democrat, but I'm not a Republican either. But both sides right now, they're all just acting childish and stupid. N none of them know about anything anymore. Well, that's not true. Some things they're both very sensible about, but it's like, come on, people. Really? Really? Trump is telling you guys, you quote, respectable, respectful Republicans, He's telling you guys to hate those who don't agree with you. You don't have a fucking problem with that? Guys, I'm a former Republican and I'm a former Democrat. I can't handle this either way. There's no way I would ever vote for him. I mean, seriously, like, why did you? Why are you still backing him? What is it about Trump that's so great, huh? What? What is it about him that's so great? Oh, what? This whole thing with him and Kim? What? That's what's great? We all know what happened the first time. Oh, yeah, Kim's a nice guy. He's a good man. He treats his people well. I'm looking forward to working with him. You don't have a problem with him saying that? What's the matter with you? What is the matter with you? You guys are all a bunch of idiots. You say, oh, yeah, I'm against the dictatorship. Yeah, your leader of this so-called great nation supports, defends, respects, and praises fucking dictators. Yeah, Obama did meet with Raul Castro, but Obama didn't go 
to the extreme of essentially praising Castro like a god, like Trump is doing with Kim. I don't care what you say, say whatever you fucking want. Oh, he's just doing that to keep us safe. No, he's not. No, he's fucking not, okay? You know, and Kim is sitting there thinking, well, I've killed 10 million of my own people. I'll do the same to his, and I know he'll let me. It's pretty fucking scary, guys. Like, I really, I really don't know why you guys are still backing him. You got, you got to be fucking kidding me. This is North Korea we're talking about. It's one thing, like, if he did that to say, I don't know, Germany or something, or Italy or Canada or the countries in the United Kingdom. That's one thing. This is fucking North Korea we're talking about. This is a country that has a leader who has legitimately had his own family members shot and killed in public. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Why would you ever fucking vote for a guy who says good things like that about a horrible, filthy person? I mean, come on. What is the matter with you people? I'll tell you what's the matter with you people. You don't, you don't have any sense of respect for anybody, not even yourselves. That's sad. That's really sad. The Republican Party is definitely worse right now than the Democratic Party, but the Democratic Party is no basket of fruit either. Well, guys, that's essentially all I had to say in this video. Tune in tomorrow um, for the next nature walk, and I will see you all then. Look at the woods. Going up a trail to my house. It's about another mile and a half up. Um, but anyways, guys, have a good day, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye.